UCF College of Medicine is in its new home, a $65 million four-story building on the Health Sciences campus in Lake Nona, south of Orlando. It's the first standalone medical school to open in this country in 30 years, and the latest technology is clearly in evidence. See one of the major valves of this heart, that little thin structure. That's... The basic lecture halls are equipped with fiber optics and high-definition TV, so students can easily see such lessons as live views of the beating hearts in volunteer model patients. While the medical library has some books, about 90% of their holdings are e-books or e-journals, accessible 24-7 from any place and in the latest, most up-to-date versions. The Clinical Skills Center, modeled on real doctor's offices and hospitals, uses avatars, volunteer mock patients, and sophisticated medical mannequins to let the student doctors practice their skills safely. Each exam room is monitored, so faculty and students alike can review every aspect of their clinical performance. In the 5,300 square foot microscopy lab, up to 120 students at a time will be able to see the same microscopic images to learn how to identify and compare normal and abnormal tissues. Besides the high definition screens and virtual slides, 10 students at a time will be able to use a single microscope to see actual slides. Perhaps the most obvious break with tradition comes in the anatomy lab, usually found in mid-school basements. And it was generally a very dark um, uh, place with poor ventilation, and our first patients who had given their lives so that we might learn and take that lesson and help others uh, were in a very unpleasant environment. And we'd be working there until 2 or 3 in the morning. And honestly, it was scary and it felt like the underworld. And it's really, in my view, not a good way for medical students to have their first experience. So we wanted to change that. So our anatomy lab is on the top floor, a beautiful sunset out the window every night. And it's well ventilated and it's really just a beautiful facility worthy of the dignity of those patients who gave their lives for, uh, for this lesson. The UCF Medical School is now one of only three in the state approved to directly receive willed bodies for research and education. This is great news for people in Central Florida because I've been getting calls since I've been here saying when can I donate my body, my remains, to the University of Central Florida. So starting around September we will be set up for that particular process which means if somebody passes away in Central Florida who's willed their body to our location uh, we'll be able to handle receiving that, uh, those remains, and those remains would obviously be used in our teaching and research programs. Students no longer have to gather around a single table, uh, the way the media did on a recent tour, to see an anatomy demonstration. High-definition cameras send live images throughout the room and building. This is technology which is a first in the state of Florida. This is Jerry Klein for UCF Reports.